hello guys welcome back so now in this video you will learn how to connect your flutter application to the firebase for the android and then in the next video we will connect over this same flutter application to the firebase for ios so for that purpose first of all what we need to do we need to simply open up your browser okay make sure that you are logged into your google account that is to your gmail account and on google simply search for firebase console or you can search firebase only now you will see this firebase firebase.google.com here you will also see this firebase console just click on firebase console it will redirect you you can see this link console.firebase.google.com you can come here directly by typing this url and press enter so here you see your firebase projects now here you will see this add project with this plus icon as we are going to create a new project a new firebase project so click on this add project and we will give it name as ar furniture app ar furniture app i confirm and then click on continue continue i accept and then click on create project so it is going to create a new firebase project for us which we will connect to our flutter application in this video first we will connect it for the android and then in the next video we will connect our this firebase project to the ios to our flutter ios So our Firebase project is created successfully. Let us just click on continue. AR Furniture App. As I told you, in this video we are going to connect it for the Android, and in the next video we will connect it for the iOS. So first of all, let us just click on this Android icon. As you can see, click on it and then in here we have to provide our package name for that purpose you have to go back to your flutter application and in the inside the android if you expand the android you will see app inside the app we have build.gradle so from this build.gradle we have here the application id inside the default config so my application id is this okay so what i will do i will remove this underscore from ar furniture app just like this so it is now com.mohammadali.ar furniture app once you copy this and add this here then please do not change this later on do not change this application id later on otherwise it will not work okay the firebase will not work for your android applications for your flutter android application so anyways now i'm going back here and here uh, the application nickname if you want to provide so i will say flutter android ar furniture and then of course in the next video when we will connect it for the ios then it will be flutter ios ar furniture app okay and yeah that's it now let's just click on register app is to download this google services.json file okay which is required for connecting our flutter application to the firebase so just click on this download google services.json and click save that is to download it so it has been downloaded successfully if i show you then now it is inside my downloads folder you can see that now next thing is we have to go back to our flutter application and inside the Flutter application that is Android and then inside the Android we have app now inside this app we have to place this Google services.json so you can either drag and drop or you can copy it from here and paste it inside the app folder so I'm going to drag and drop inside the apps inside this app folder okay and then click refactor so now if I show you as I told you inside the Android inside the app we have now our Google service dot JSON file you can see that so please make sure to put it inside the app folder 
as you can see here in my case let's just go back to our browser and now the next thing that we will do is click next then here in our project level build.gradle we have to add this class path com google gms google services copy this okay copy this one and then come back here to your flutter project and in here this is our you know inside the android we have build.gradle this one so this is our project level build.gradle that is for the android it is the build.gradle so if you click on it then here you will see this uh, dependencies okay inside these dependencies you can pass that here okay com google gms google services you can pass that line in here then let's go back to the browser next thing that we have to do is here you can see this uh, plugins id and then in front of it you see this one okay we have to add this to our app module build.gradle okay so just copy this one copy this come back to your flutter project and now in here in our flutter project we have android and then app module that is inside the app we have build.gradle so now in here below that is at the end first you can type apply plugin you can see apply plugin colon and then after it you can pass that just remove this id from it we do not need that okay just remove the id from it and then you can see that apply plugin and then paste this here then let's go back to the browser and click next continue to console and yeah that's it we have connect our flutter android to the firebase now we have to test our application on our android smartphone in order to check if it is working or not that is if it is connected with the firebase successfully or not so for that purpose first of all uh, let's come here to the pub spec.yml and i'm going to add some dependencies for example we will initialize uh, the firebase services that is either the firebase is working successfully or not in our this flutter application more specifically for the android which we are testing in this video so we will use the fire we will now add the firebase core dependency and yeah let's just add that first and then we will see so for that purpose you have to just go to the site pub.dev pub.dev site and search for firebase core so this one firebase core null safety with any new version okay just click on it firebase core and click on installing so this is the latest new version just go with any latest new version you see okay after clicking on install installing you will see this new version of firebase core so just copy this dependency and come back here to the flutter application and just after the cupertino icons we will simply pass that just like this then click on pub get in order to add this firebase core dependency in our project of course later on when we will be using the firestore and the cloud storage then we will add dependencies for that as well but for now for this in this video we are just going to initialize firebase in our this flutter application so that we can check either it is connected successfully or not that is our flutter application for the android is connected successfully to the firebase or not so anyways when the exact code is zero it simply means that firebase core dependency has been installed successfully in our flutter application next thing is let's just quickly come back here to the main dot dot and if you see this as a suggestion click on get dependencies okay just like this and then click on ignore as it has been installed already we will make this main method asynchronous as we are going to initialize 5s in here 
and we will say future because we will wait for the response that is either firebase is initialized successfully or not so future wide man asynchronous and then in here we can say inside the try catch block we can do that so try catch in case of any exception we will get the error message so we can say error message and just we will print that message that is error message dot to string using the concatenation sign plus first we will also display that error and then inside the try we can first say that widget widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized and then we can say wet firebase dot initialize app and that's it so I'm going to connect my phone using the data cable that is my Android smartphone and now let's just install the app on my Samsung phone so the app is running now successfully on our Android smartphone so it simply means that Firebase, our Flutter Android app is connected to the Firebase successfully. For the Android, it is working fine. So, the next video, we will connect our this Flutter application for the iOS.